Hey guys, it's eight of my 100 video series and today I just wanna chat with you about earnest money. What in the world is earnest money? Uh, so you could see it as sort of a security deposit. So when you go to offer on a home, in the contract, your agent's gonna ask you, hey, how much earnest money do you plan on putting down? And what that does is it secures your, it's like, it basically lets the seller know that you are a serious buyer and you are vetted and you are serious about moving forward, um, purchasing the home, and you have the finances to do it. So by telling them, hey, I plan to put 1% earnest money, which is pretty typical here in Oregon, um, ask your realtor what they think is typical. Um, even though there is a typical percentage or dollar figure that may be, um, common in your area it is also something that can be negotiated so you can negotiate $300 earnest money $500 earnest money a thousand ten thousand dollar earnest money it all just depends on what again the buyer and the seller are wanting to do uh, in order to feel comfortable moving forward so um, typically this earnest money goes towards your down payment um, it can also be towards your closing costs so it goes in a third-party account uh, so that way, um, you know, all the funds are held securely. Uh, so that ensures that nobody's getting the funding prior to close. So definitely check with your realtor in your local area because it may differ based on the laws in that area. But that is what earnest money is. So when you go to write an offer on a home, just be prepared to have a little bit of earnest money to show that you are a vetted buyer. And if you have any questions, definitely reach out, but hopefully this helps you a little bit um, be familiar with the process. So awesome. I will see you guys tomorrow.